would like to talk about how you can use lambda expressions to iterate over hash maps and lists and also to be able to use uh, functionality that is available such as filter map and deduce so let's get started so I have created a simple map and uh, the easiest way to uh, basically iterate over this is to use lambda expressions and I'm going to demonstrate that in the lambda expression you can have since it's a map is going to have a key and a value and uh, that's what uh, is and I'm just going to print it out for example and let's uh, just uh, put in a key and I'm just uh, adding things to just print it, uh, print it out so just uh, bear with me it shouldn't take too long and uh, here is the value and that should be it and let's just kind of quickly run through and see if it does what we expected so here you can see it does print the key and the value and that's what we expect similar to what we did up here uh, we can do the same thing with list and let's just try it this is a list of string and uh, since it has only one value uh, we can just uh, work uh, with uh, just a one expression here and uh, one uh, parameter and I'm going to just print it out and let me just uh, do that quickly and see if that works so you can uh, iterate over lambda expressions and it is more succinct so it did the list as well so one more thing I wanted to kind of quickly demonstrate here is you can use some of the newer functions to uh, do um, on work on array of integers and uh, do such things as filter map and reduce so let me just demonstrate that let's say we're going to reduce it and do a sum of the array so I'm going to declare a result and I'm going to say it is equal to uh, first thing you want to do is to be able to do that uh, let me just uh, change it to a stream you need to have an a stream so to get a stream what you can do is you can use the static function arrays.stream and give it an array and this should uh, give us an array stream and uh, we need a variable to hold this value so I'm going to uh, try and see if I can use the is equal to here and I'm going to say create local variable stream and it does create uh, the right type for me in stream and the reason that we are doing it so that way we can run some of these other functions on stream so let's say we want to filter out uh, first before we do anything uh, such that uh, anything uh, any value has to be greater than one so it's basically uh, going to uh, create a new array where we can uh, work on uh, everything there where the value is uh, and let's say we want to uh, do some operations on each element where we are going to double it so that's what the map does and I'm going to do a map and I'm also going to do a reduce and the identity value is basically an operation where when you're doing the operation it will change its uh, result to be an identity so that like a plus zero is a that's why I put in a zero there and in there we usually have two arguments one is called the partial result and the item where the item is being uh, constructed and let me uh, just put in a little uh, lambda expression here uh, to uh, return the result and the return of the result we are essentially doing is very straightforward we are returning partial plus item and uh, now in the end we want to uh, print out our result and let's see how that works out So you can see the result is 28 and the result is 28 because 28 is basically we transform this array into first uh, by removing one so the new array was essentially 2, 3, 4, 
and 5 and when we mapped it and doubled it it will become basically 4 6 8 and 10 and then we did a reduce operation and the reduce is to add all of these values and that should have given us 28 so that is kind of the operation we ended up doing on it and hopefully you found this uh, useful if you like this uh, go to my website and you can search for these and other videos and I will add that under the Java uh, map reduce and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day